Did you know that most hummingbirds weigh less than a nickel? Amazing, isn't it? Let me welcome you once again. The American flamingo, Phenicopterus ruber, is a large species of flamingo closely related to the greater flamingo and Chilean flamingo native to the Neotropics. It was formerly considered conspecific with the greater flamingo, but that treatment is now widely viewed as incorrect due to a lack of evidence. It is also known as the Caribbean flamingo, although it is also present in the Galapagos Islands. It is the only flamingo that naturally inhabits North America. The American flamingo is a large wading bird with reddish-pink plumage. Like all flamingos, it lays a single chalky white egg on a mud mound, between May and August, incubation until hatching takes from 28 to 32 days. Both parents brood the young for a period up to six years when they reach sexual maturity. Their life expectancy of 40 years is one of the longest in birds. Adult American flamingos are smaller on average than greater flamingos, but are the largest flamingos in the Americas. Most of its plumage is pink, giving rise to its earlier name of rosy flamingo and differentiating adults from the much paler greater flamingo. The wing coverts are red, and the primary and secondary flight feathers are black. The bill is pink and white with an extensive black tip. The legs are entirely pink. The call is a goose-like honking. It is one of the species to which the agreement on the conservation of African-Eurasian migratory waterbirds applies. The egg is attended constantly and equally by alternating parents. Chicks at the nest are attended constantly by alternating parents, up to 7 to 11 days of age. Most attentive periods during incubation and brooding last 21 to 60 hours, both in the case where the off-duty parents remain in the same lagoon to feed, or they fly to other lagoons to feed. Nest reliefs during incubation take place predominantly in late afternoon or early morning. The role of osmoregulation, the maintenance of a precise balance of solute and water concentrations within the body, is performed by a number of bodily functions working together. The kidney, the lower gastrointestinal tract, and the salt glands work together to maintain the homeostasis between ions and fluids. In mammals, the kidneys and urinary bladder are the primary organs used in osmoregulation. Birds, however, lack a urinary bladder and must compensate using these three organs. Can you please help by sharing this video? Please get back soon, bye!